hi hi guys i hope you guys are good welcome to my youtube channel after this video please don't forget to like and subscribe okay um in my previous video i was talking about information processing so today i'm going to show you how to to do tabular statement it's information processing and six november 2022 right so today we are going to do tabular statements so first thing first guys you all you must remember to change your margins you must follow the instruction so it's the first thing you must do so here it says um margins left one comma 27 centimeter right one comma 27 centimeter so you go to layout you go to um, margins, <clears throat> then custom margins. Then you see this is left and this is right. So before that, it says it must be A4 landscape. So we change it and put it to landscape. Then you change your margins. 1 comma 27 centimeter 1 comma 27 centimeter then is the whole document then okay so here it is so after um it must be line spacing 1 comma 0 then you come here one comma zero then again you remove space after paragraph then you change your font always remember to change your font so you come here you type it's arial 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 12 point set as a default this document only right you say okay then here we are we are done and the instruction states as a header key in your examination number left aligned and question two right aligned so you go to insert a header then you take this one you type in your examination number normally your examination number it is your id number then question two question two that's it then you close your header then you must type all this guys you must type all this what they said here you must type it and always remember that when typing you must um do the manipulation so i will advise you to type first then you do the manipulation after right so here i did already type it you just type it then i did already type it so here on job evaluation here job evaluation whenever you see that is a space caps it's always um it's always on capital letters even though they didn't tell you that it must be capital letters they say space caps space caps it's always in capital letters so after typing this we have to insert the table the table now you go to insert then table insert the table then you check how many how many rows and columns so let's start with the rows the rows is one two no let's count this one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen uh rows it's nineteen 
19 and columns columns is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 columns then here we are so guys you must take note you must take note when inserting your um your table you must take note when in, in, in setting your table because um, in some rows you will have to match such as this one the first column the first column here the first column this one which means you have to match you will you have to match three rows you do like this then lay out then you match so that it can be like this and also guys take note of the instruction uppercase bold all this take note this insert take note so i will show you the one which i'm already done but whenever you're inserting a table you go to insert table then insert a table. Insert a table like this. You insert a table. So let me show you the one which is already done. Um, this one. I did this. So at the end it must it must look like this. It must look like this. Your, your tabular statement. And always remember that your figures must always be on the right. Even though they didn't tell you that your figures must be on the right. In tabular statement, your figures must always be on the right. Financial statement, yes. They must be straight. Unless if they tell you that they must be on on the right but on table statement all figures must be on the right so i hope you guys it will help and assist you in some ways so thank you see you next time